thing with this lawn chair is people tend to think that it's a mobility scooter because it looks very much like one I'm just thinking that could be an advantage because I'll be able to take it to more places and it won't be quite as conspicuous they won't, people won't think that it's really a go-kart which it really is <laughs> um, so one thing I'm doing is to make it make it look more like a mobility scooter and, a, and kind of attract less attention is to attach a walking stick to it. I've got this kind of traditional style walking stick. I'm thinking if I fix that, fix that on somehow. It's not really convenient places for it, but anyway, I'll think of some some way of doing that in a minute. And also, I'm wondering whether to put it on that side or that side, but I was, I was thinking I haven't checked the, the, the balance lately. I've been putting, modifying a few bits and putting a few extra bits onto it. Like the drinks bottle and things. So I want to make sure that it's still kind of more or less balanced from side to side. So what I've done is I've put, made this pivot at the back. That's in the in the centre of the chassis. So if I lift up the front, that should give us an idea as to what the, how well it's balanced. So if I put my hand right under the middle and lift, that's pretty well dead on actually. I think it's going. Oh yeah, it's pretty well. Pretty well dead centre, that's pretty good actually. Right, so it doesn't really matter which side we put it on. I don't think there's any it's not gonna be any easier on one side or the other, so um anyway I'll have a think about that, so I'll sort of start kind of vaguely working out as I fix it. Well, I've been looking at this, um, trying to best place to put this walking stick. And if we get, I think I can actually put it. There's a in the corner of the chassis, the rubber knob thing on the end of the walking stick fits in there really nicely. And now I can just tie the top of it to the to the chair. But of course, there's a snag. The, if I switch the rear lights on. There's an LED, there's four LEDs I put across the back. And of course the, the wire legs from the LED are right in that corner. So if I, if I push the walking stick right down there, it's going to end up breaking the legs off the LED. So what I'm going to have to do is put a... I think I'm going to do is put a screw on the end of this... on the end of this rubber knob. So it sticks down a bit, and then it'll, it'll, it'll kind of it won't allow the rough and the rubber knob to go down to that corner too far, and it'll miss the legs on the LED. So, Ruth, I'll just put this. <coughs> I'll put this in the vice. Put my dual protectors on. Uh, actually, got this walking stick from a. A junk shot for next to nothing. I wanted a traditional shape one with a nice curved top, so it's it's really obvious what it is. So you've got these posh kind of aluminium ones these days that don't really look like right. it's obvious that they're walking sticks. So this one should be the job. So what I need is a, a screw in there. Too, not stick out too far. So if we drill a pilot hole, uh, uh, is that the right size? Yeah, that should be all right. It'll destroy the functionality of the walking stick slightly to fit the objects of the rubber knob on the end, but. 
I won't actually need to use it as a walking stick. It's just a, it's just kind of theatrical prop. <laughs> do it. Oh, so I think that's about it. So I'll put now put that in that corner. Needs to come out slightly more. A little space on the little rubber knob. out of the way so the wires to the LED so they don't bend the wires so we don't put the screw straight on top of the wires oh that's done it it's slightly in more so that's those located we're bumping up and down so we don't, we don't lose the walking stick so it doesn't come out Right, so, oh, that's about right. So it's settling in that bottom bit quite nicely. So what we've got to do now is fix the top. Um, I could drill a hole in the walking stick. 